All right, net ionic equations, the last aspect of the precipitate stuff. So what's going to happen when uh, solutions of calcium nitrate and ammonium carbonate are mixed, and what is the net ionic equation? So a couple things. Net ionic equation is uh, when you cancel out the spectators because they don't do anything, and then balance your equation. So a net ionic equation is the balanced equation when you have canceled out your spectator ions. So get out those uh, ion lists and let's double check that we make sure that we know what the charges of everything are here. So let's start here with calcium nitrate. So calcium nitrate is CONO32. But when you put it in water, it becomes aqueous. Why? Because the calcium is a plus two and the nitrate is a negative one that is there all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to do ammonium carbonate so ammonium carbonate is nh42co3 but when you put it in water it's going to break up why because the nh4 is a one positive and the co3 is a negative two again all of these guys are considered to be aqueous ions so now what's going to happen when the ammonium and the carbonate and the calcium and the nitrate all get together into the same solution. Well, we're going to form a precipitate. Who are we going to form a precipitate between? The calcium and the carbonate here. Those guys are going to be your precipitate. These guys here are going to be your spectators. So that and that are your spectator ions. So if they ask you for the spectator ions, that's going to be the nitrate ion and the ammonium ion. Those are your spectator ions. But if we're interested in the precipitate that is formed, the precipitate is formed is going to be when calcium ions, aqueous, react with carbonate ions, aqueous, to form calcium carbonate uh, solid here and this is now your net ionic equation so the net ionic equation is what happens when the precipitate is formed and you are ignoring the spectator ions so the calcium ion from the calcium nitrate and the carbonate ion from the sodium carbonate get or the ammonium carbonate get together to form calcium carbonate Let's try one more. What's the net ionic equation when solutions of aluminum chloride and potassium carbonate are mixed? So at this point, all you got to do is get out your uh, ion sheet and periodic table and double check that you know the charges. The aluminum is going to be the aluminum with a plus three and then chloride with a minus one. Potassium is potassium with a plus one and carbonate with a minus two. If they are asking you for the uh, spectator ions, the spectator ions are going to be the potassium and the chloride. These guys are your spectators. That's going to be the potassium with a positive and the chloride with a negative uh, because they don't do anything. But you are going to get a precipitate here between the aluminum and the carbonate. So the precipitate that is formed between the aluminum and the carbonate is when the aluminum with a plus 3 and the carbonate with a minus 2 go together to form Al2CO3-3. That's a solid. Now, if you put this as your net ionic equation, you're going to be wrong. Why? Because it's not balanced. How many aluminums do you have here? Well, you have two. Well, over here, right now, you've only got one aluminum that has a plus three charge, so you've got to make sure you put a two in front of that guy to make sure that you have the same number of aluminums on this side, two aluminums with a plus three, and two aluminums with a plus three that are there. So if that's the case, then how many carbonates are you going to need? How many of those guys are you going to need? Well, it's pretty obvious that you're going to need three of those carbonates, so you've got to come over here and put a three in front of him. And now that is the balanced net ionic equation that two aluminums 
go together with three carbonates to make one aluminum carbonate, which contains the two aluminums that were from over here, and it contains the three carbonates